Hello viewers, so welcome to my channel. I'm Hashim Ali Khan. So far, 10 problems I have completed on funds flow analysis. In this video, 11th and 12th problem I'm going to continue. So after doing 10 problems, you are aware about what are the I mean statements we have to make in funds flow analysis. The first statement is statement of changes in working capital where we take current assets and current liability to find out whether there is increase or decrease in working capital. After that we we'll make the statement of source and application where we take all non-current assets and non-current liabilities. That's all. So now before starting the 11th problem, I expect my viewers to have a printout of the problems which I have given in the link under my description. Always keep ready the problems then we'll start the solutions. Now see the 11th problem carefully. Prepare a funds flow statement for Ananth Limited. From the following information for the year ended 31st March 2017. Our year ends on 31st March 2017. Here data is given for 2016 and 2017. There is a printing mistake there. In the question paper first it is given 31st March 2016. First column. Second column it is given 31st March 2017. But there is a printing mistake. First column make it 2017. And second column make it 2016. There is a printing mistake there. So you correct it. The first column is 17. And second column is 16. Right? Now, cash and bank balance. The so last year cash and bank balance 1,25,000. Current year it is 2,50,000. So before making the statement of source and application, first we make the statement of changes in working capital. See what are the current assets, cash and bank balance, last year 125, current year 250. And in 2016, it is 125, 2017, it is 2, uh, 2 lakh 50,000. So here, cash and bank balance, 125, 250, right? Similarly, share capital reserves and surplus secured loan, then current liabilities, only one outside liability, current liability, last year 60 lakh, current year 50 lakh. Then fixed assets, investments, stock, stores and work in progress, sundry debtors. So totally three current assets are given. The three current assets are cash and bank balance, stock, stores and work in progress, sundry debtors. The total current assets and outside current liability is A only one. So A is the current asset, B is the current liability, A minus B is the working capital. So last year working capital 55 lakh. Current year working capital 67,50,000. So there is increase. So increase in working capital 12,50,000. Now this is our answer. To find out whether this answer is correct or not, open the column increase and decrease. So here 125 to 250, there is increase by 1,25,000. 7875 to 75, there is decrease by 3,75,000. 35 to 40, there is increase by 5 lakh. Current liability, there is decrease, decrease by 10 lakh. So we write in the increase column 10 lakh. Lastly, we got increase, so take it in the decrease column 12 lakh 50,000. Now total in increase and decrease 16 lakh 25,000 same. When you get the same total in increase and decrease column, it means your answer is correct. What is the answer? Increase in working capital of 12 lakh 50,000. This increase in working capital should always be taken on the application side. So here this is the statement of source and application for the year ended 31st March 2017. So here this increase in working capital I am going to take on application side. Increase in working capital 12,50,000. That's it. Now other items. See the other items there. Uh, share capital. Share capital last year 40 lakh. Current year it is 50 lakh. So during the current year, shares were issued for 10 lakh. So issue of shares 10 lakh. Here I have taken. Next comes reserves and surplus. Reserves and surplus will make use to find out funds from operation. It's a company. So reserves and surplus. Every year profit will be kept in reserves and surplus. So last year reserves and surplus 5 lakh. And current year reserves and surplus 15 lakh. So reserves and surplus have increased by 10 lakh. So increase in reserves and surplus, 10 lakh. Next comes secured loan. Secured loan last year it was 40 lakh. Current year it has become 35 lakh. That means 5 lakh rupees loan reduced. How loan reduced? Repaid. The business has repaid the loan. Application side, 
5 lakhs. Secured loan repaid 5 lakhs. Next comes current liability already we have taken. Ignore. Fixed assets. The fixed assets are 30 lakh last year and 31 lakh current year. Now what is the adjustment regarding fixed assets? It is given the net profit after adjustment in respect of provision for taxation and proposed dividend was 1 lakh for the year. We don't require net profit because we don't know how much is the provision for taxation, how much is the proposed dividend after making all this adjustment 1 lakh rupees profit. We are calculating funds from operation by using reserves and surplus. So this profit already included in reserves and surplus. So we don't require this adjustment. There was addition to fixed asset during the year amounting to 4 lakh rupees. Addition means purchased. Further fixed assets are purchased for 4 lakh. And depreciation for the year 3 lakh. 3 lakh rupees depreciation. So depreciation is a non-cash item. So non-cash item depreciation 3 lakh. So here it is 10 lakh plus 3 lakh 13 lakh. Funds from operation 13 lakh. This is the funds from operation 13 lakh. Right? Now, we will open fixed asset account. This is the fixed asset account. Last year fixed assets were 30 lakh. And current year it is 31 lakh. So two balance brought down. Last year balance 30 lakh. Current year balance 31 lakh. Here I have taken by balance carried on 30 lakh. Depreciation provided during the year 3 lakh rupees given in the problem. Here by depreciation 3 lakh. And it is given that 4 lakh rupees fixed assets were purchased, added to two bank, 4 lakh rupees. Don't write balancing figure because already given in the problem. Bank, 4 lakh rupees. So this purchase of fixed asset 4 lakh, this will be taken on the application side. Purchase of fixed asset 4 lakh, right? Depreciation 3 lakh, already we have added, we got the funds from operation. One more last item, investments. Investment last year zero, current year one lakh fifty thousand. That means during the current year investments are purchased. So purchase of investments one lakh fifty thousand. Over all the items which are whatever whatever is given in the problem we have taken. Now see the total. This ticked and this is ticked. Total twenty three lakh on the source side. So here fifty one lakh fifty thousand five lakh four lakh twelve lakh fifty thousand. Take the total twenty three lakh. That means the source and application both are equal. Our solution is correct. So this is the end of problem number 11. Come on. Now we'll start the next problem. Problem number 12. From the following balance sheet of Ananya Limited as at 31st March 2016 and 31st March 2017, you are required to prepare the statement of source and application of funds for the year ended 31st March 2017. So last year 16, current year 17. Now, balance sheet of Ananya Limited, it is given. So, equity and liability, shareholders fund, share capital, reserves and surplus, note number one. Then, non-current liability, bank loan, current liability, trade payable, short-term provisions, provision for taxation. Then, assets, non-current assets, fixed assets, fixed assets, tangible, intangible. Then, current assets, inventory, trade receivable, cash and cash equipment. First of all, we will make the statement of changes in working capital to find out the net increase or decrease as usual. So in this problem, three current assets are given inventories, trade receivable and cash and cash equivalent. The values, whatever is given in the problem, same values I have taken. Last year 2016, current year 2017. The total current assets 90,250, 73,400. Current liabilities are trade payable, short term provisions and provision for taxation actually short term provisions are not there just for the sake of formality it is given but amount is not there so only two current liability trade payable and provision for taxation trade payable always a current liability trade payable but provision for taxation can be treated as a current liability or can be treated as an appropriation of profit this I have discussed in the theory video also. So there are two methods of treatment of provision for taxation. It can be treated as a current liability. If you want to treat it as a current liability, take the provision for taxation here, last year, current year. And the adjustment, whatever is given in adjustment regarding taxation, ignore. You should not take. Once if you have decided to treat the current uh, provision for taxation as a current liability, no need to prepare the account. 
no need to prepare the provision for taxation account and whatever is given in adjustment should be ignored but in this problem see the adjustment last paragraph dividend paid during 2017 11500 depreciation rate of plant 7000 and income tax provision made during the year 16500 proposed dividend and provision for tax to be treated as an appropriation of profit specifically given in the problem that dividend and provision for taxation should be treated as an appropriation of profit so don't take that provision for taxation as a current liability because specifically it is given don't treat treat it as an appropriation of profit so here i have not taken provision for taxation only trade payable i have taken so total assets current assets minus current liability you will get working capital so last year working capital 15,000 to 15. Current year 5,800. So there is decrease from 15,000 to 50 to 5,800. So decrease in working capital 9,450. This is our answer. To check whether our answer is correct or not, we'll take increase and decrease column. 50,000 to 37,000. There is decrease by 13,000. 40,000 to 32,100. There is decrease by 7,900. Here 250. To 4300 increase by 4050. Trade payable 75,000 to 67,600. There is decrease, but we will take them out in increase column. Opposite. Then decrease in working capital should be taken in increase column. Now find out the total of increase and decrease. If the total is same, that means your answer is same. Your answer is correct. Here total is same 20,900, 20,900. So whatever answer we got 9,450 decrease in working capital is absolutely right. And this 9,450 is decrease. So it should be taken on the source side. Increase raha to application, decrease at the source. So source side decrease in working capital 9,450. That's it. Now we'll take the other items. See the other items. From beginning you see. Share capital last year 1 lakh. Current year 1,25,000. So during the current year, shares were issued 25,000. Issue of shares 25,000. I have taken. Now reserves and surplus. This reserves and surplus will make use to find out funds from operation. So first of all, note number one. Reserves and surplus is given in note number one. See the note. General reserve last year 25,000. Current year 30,000. So during the current year, 5,000 rupees are transferred to general reserve. So this transfer should be taken as a non-cash, non-operating item. So here you can say transfer to general reserve, 5,000. Right? Then surplus. Surplus as per statement of profit and loss. Last year, 15,250. Current year, 15,300. So there is increase in surplus by 50 rupees. So I am starting here. Increase in surplus 50 rupees. Right? Next. After reserves and surplus, bank loan. Bank loan last year 35,000. Current year nil. That means bank loan is repaid. There is no bank loan in the current year. So repayment. Bank loan repaid 35,000. Next comes trade payable. Already we have taken there. Short term provisions are not there. Provision for taxation, we will, I'll adjust, I'll tell you while doing the adjustment. Then fixed assets, note number two. Note number two, you can see the fixed assets. Note number two, tangible fixed assets are land, last year 1 lakh, current year 95,000. The value of land has decreased due to sale. Because there is no depreciation on land, always remember, De land is a non-depreciable asset. No depreciation will never be provided on land. So when the land value is decreased, it may happen that it is sold. So sale of land 5000. Here you can see sale of land 5000. Right? Next plant. For plant last year value 75,000 and current year value 8400. And depreciation written off on plant is 7000. So I will open the account. Plant account. So last year balance brought down 75,000 and current year balance carried down 84,500. Depreciation provided is 7,000. By depreciation, 7,000. 
take the total on the credit side 91500 from 91500 deduct 75000 the balancing figure 16500 this 16500 is a purchase of plant debit side we are getting less the purchase of plant 16500 here i have taken purchase of plant 16500 and depreciation on plant is a non cash item it is added here depreciation on plant is a non cash item added the plant over tangible fixed asset completed the intangible fixed asset is given last year nil current year 2500 that means during the current year intangible fixed asset purchased intangible fixed assets are purchased the so application side you can see purchase of intangible asset 2500 right then after that current assets current assets already we have taken now lastly provision for tax dividend paid dividend paid is given last adjustment dividend paid during the year 11500 it will appear twice first of all dividend paid will be shown as an application dividend paid 11500 and again this dividend paid will be added back to profit so here dividend paid 11500 two times it will come it will it will be added as a non cash non operating item and application side last one provision for taxation made during the year 16500 this is the new point first time we are coming across provision for taxation account we have to pay the last year provision for taxation given in the balance sheet is Provision for taxation 15,000. Current year balance is 17,500. Remember, provision for taxation is a liability, and all liabilities will show credit balance. That's why credit side by balance brought down 15,000 last year, and two balance carried down current year 17,500. Now, provision for taxation made during the year last adjustment it is given income tax provision made during the year 16,500. So credit side you should take by profit and loss account provision made during the year 16,500 now you take the total 15,000 plus 16,500 31,500 31,500 from 31,500 deduct 17,500 31,500 minus 17,500 you will get 14,000 so here I am writing 14,000 to bank Balancing figure, it is not given in the problem, we have calculated. Tax paid. Debit side, whatever balancing figure we are getting, that is the income tax paid during the year. So here, this 14,000 rupees is not given in the problem. By making this account, we come to know that there is a tax paid of 14,000. This tax paid will be taken here on application side, 14,000. Remember, opening balance credit side closing balance debit side provision made during the year that will be taken on the credit side by PL account and debit side balancing figure is the income tax paid this is the treatment when provision for taxation is treated as an appropriation of profit this is the method of appropriation of profit now from this account two items I am taking this 16,500 provision made during the year will be added back to profit for calculating funds from operation and income tax paid of 14,000 this will be taken as an application of funds that's it opening and closing balance should not be taken over now take the total here provision made during the year 16,500 this should be added as a non-cash non-operating item now take the total of this funds from operation 40,050 is the funds from operation so here funds from operation 40,050 that's all all the items we have taken now see everything is ticked here so debit side total 79,500 credit side total 79,500 tallied that's it this is the end of problem number 12 totally 12 problems I have completed on preparing the funds flow statement